Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. Are you in remote support business or you are someone looking for a free, clean and easy to use remote desktop solution? Then this video is for you. In this video, we are going to review UltraViewer, which is a free to use remote desktop tool that allow you to use multi session and transfer files. You know, you can even get unattended access to the remote computer. So let's dive into the video and together we will install and configure this free remote control software or you can say the remote desktop tool okay so let's go to the website of this software called ultra viewer so let's type this let's go to the ultra viewer site and you can see with the website itself you can see that this is a very clean and neat user interface of this website and it says that uh, so you can see they have 40 crores download and this is a hundred percent freeware easy to use you can use as a, a remote control your partner computers right so you know this is a very easy to use uh, this application you can see there uh, they have given that what are the benefit you get it right and uh, why to choose this uh, remote uh, ultra remote desktop software which is called ultra Wear. so you can go ahead and read through this i'll share this link in the description however let's go ahead and download it so you can see here this is the download so when you go to the download so latest version which uh, ultra viewer is offering is 6.6.9 Nine six. You can see this Ultra Viewer is offering two type of uh, installer. The one is the install that install exe and the one is the portable version. So portable version is good when you don't want to install on your system. You can just run it and it will work. But however, if you want to take this advantage of the uh, file transfer or um, you can unattended access then you have to go with the install that exe I mean, you have to install this exe file so and this is a very tiny one you can see this is a 1.5 mb and this will support all windows operating system starting from windows xp to windows 11 so let's go ahead and download this one download and uh, okay it's download is completed so what we'll do is uh we will create a scenario here so you can see this is my windows 11 pc so you can see this is the windows 11 pc so this will assume that that this is my PC. My PC means I'm as a remote support guy. I'm sitting in an office and I will be connecting to my client. And my client PC would be Windows 10. You can see this is the Windows 10 computer. I'll be connecting to this computer to 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 the support this client. Let's say this because the client or our relatives, anyone. It could be the anyone, right? So let's go back to Windows 11 PC. Okay. So I'm back to 11 PC and so let's go ahead and install it. Okay. So, so installation is very simple. Just go ahead and install it. This is just a 1.5 or 2 MB file. Okay, so the installation is completed and now you can see launch the ultra viewer. Click on the finish and you will see a menu here which will show you this ID and password. So you can see here, um, now it says that you can bottom, you can see this green light and it says that ready to connect. And here you can see this ID and password. This is important. This is what you need from your partner to connect to his computer, right? Here we key in our partner ID and the password here and it will connect. So now our computer is ready so this is our computer and this is this is ready to take the remote control right so now what we'll do is we'll go to the client computer you can see the relative computer that is the windows 10 so okay so i'm in windows 10 now again we have to go to a browser and uh, we have to download the ultra viewer as well on this computer okay our browser is ready so let's add this uh, ultra viewer and we have to go to this ultra viewer site again and uh, download the software so we'll again we'll go with the exe file so that we can take the remote control so once you go to the site you have to click on the download and you can see this is uh, this uh, orange color icon here just click on so it's easy to guide you also right when you ask somebody to go to this ultraviewer.net and download.html or you can see this ultraviewer.net and ask him to go to download and click on this uh, orange uh, this uh, link here so this is very easy to guide them and uh, once once they download it ask him to install it so let's go ahead and install here also click on the yes okay click next next and to install as i said that this is a very tiny software it's not going to take some time it's not going to take time so it would be very quick okay so installation is ready click on the finish and let's close this website so it will show you the id and the password here so you can see this connection is ready to connect so make sure that you have an active internet on your system because this will connect over the internet right so this is a very helpful like when you have your own computer right or laptop running at your home and you want to connect to your computer back to your computer so this will be very easy to do that right so um you know when you're going to 
when you're going to configure this remote desktop uh, like windows remote desktop then you know you have to have the firewall vpn and a lot of stuff you need to have but uh, when you use this type of software like it will make your life easy right so you okay, see here this is our id and this is the password so let's get this id first so this is the id which i have got it now we have to add this id so the id is uh, 9539.2564 and we need the password as well copy and let's get the and paste the password in the password so partner id and password these two things you required from um, your partner or you can see your client and once you have that let's click on the connect to partner and you don't need anything no nothing required you can see you can you have directly connect on the windows 10 you can see let me show it to you you can see this is the windows 10 computer you don't need anyone to allow your like any desk you somebody has to allow or approve it to connect right but here once you have the id and password you can directly connect to the computer so so this is about the connecting this computer so this is how it easy it is right now show you let me show you a few more things so you can see this ultra viewer with windows run ultra viewer with windows so what will happen is once you have this on the moment you restart your computer this will connect so you know um, this will start with your computer and this will prevent your windows from log going to sleep so once you enable this one okay so i know um, to enable this one you need to have the license and uh, allow computer to run so you know you have one more very important settings here like allow turn on computer remotely so what is happen is like when you enable this one when your pc in sleep or hibernate need more so it will check ten, every 10 minutes or every 15 minutes on on these dates here so that uh, it will uh, once you send this message to wake up or you want to connect it it will sense this message and it will bring that system online i mean uh, i mean come out from the sleep or hibernate mode right this is a good feature if you are into server or something like you know oh this is also required as license version anyhow but this is this is the free version i'm using it so i don't require this one however if you want to buy the license you can go ahead go ahead with this feature right so let's close this one view logs close remote desktop software uh, reset ultra viewer settings options what is there inside the options um connection okay so when you have a proxy and all you can set the proxy ip you know that proxy ip right you have to set the proxy ip with the numbers here the ip address and port number if any username and password if it is system is behind the proxy uh, let's say what is that uh, relay ip no there is no relay ip security okay so you know what happened is like uh, uh, when you close this remote when you close this application right so let's say when you close this application so what will happen it will automatically clo it will close this uh, session also but you have an option where you go to the settings options and when you enable this uh, feature called uh, what will happen when you cross the, when, when you close this application so if you want to close this application permanently then it's well and good all uh, well and good but if you want to just to minimize this right so when you click on you can say always minimize the system tray click on the okay and okay done so when i close this it doesn't close this you can see this is still running on my task uh, on my system tray right and let's go what are the other options what are the other option we have access okay you can set the password here for the remote desktop right uh, the, as of now we are using the numbers but i'll show you in the um, so let's add the password here so this is for the um, unattended access so whenever uh, like system reboots the password will change right but when you have this password you can directly jump into this computer chat setting okay chat history password voice chat extra okay so you can have this storage and where you can save the password and all that's fine so let's close this one but you know um, the interesting part is like in the free version also you can have the multiple remote session you can see uh, i have one remote session here this is the remote session i have taken from the windows 10 this is my windows 10 here so let me show you to you one more uh, okay so i have got access to one of our windows uh, server operating system so i've already configured it with a remote i mean already installed this ultra viewer on it so let's connect that to that system also let to, to show you that how many uh, and I, you can correct the uh, simultaneously you can connect the multiple uh, session with with the other computers also so without any any cost so that the password and connect to the partner it says that connecting and now here we go you can see this is the windows operating system and i have a session so you know um like there are many tool which uh, uh, remote desktop tool which ask you to have a license 
if you connect more than one session however in this ultra viewer you can see i have a two session open here one is my server operating system and other another one is windows 10 so you can connect a number of uh, sessions with with on your with your uh, single instance right so um, okay so this is about this connecting the single multiple instances here so let me show you very interesting stuff here um oops okay so this is my uh, windows 10 pc right and i said come i said that i will show you how to get this unattended access so i, I have enabled this i uh, first i have installed this ultra viewer on the client computer and then i have enabled this uh, run ultra viewer with windows right i enable the services and then i have given the custom password here right so now it's it just remember this id 95392564 just remember that it's time to reboot the computer right so let's shut down and uh, restart the computer for some reason you have restarted the computer as you can see here restart anyway and this says that okay so the system gone into the reboot mode let me show you what is happening on the windows 10 pc and this is the 10 windows 10 pc and you can see this is restarting so let's it's come back we'll wait for this pc to come back okay so as you can see on your screen this system the client computer is rebooting i mean you cannot see that remotely i'm just showing you it because i I have an option to show you this is in in the reboot mode but in the real scenario you won't be able to find it out because they are sitting uh, far from you right you can ask him that what is happening on the screen so they will tell you over the phone but let's see here as you can see on my screen the system is back but let's see what we can see it from our computer like, like remote computer so this is our computer and uh, the i which we have connected was is this one right 95392564 so let's go ahead and connect to this connect with this uh, password so we have given some custom password and click on the connect so when you click on the connect you can see this will directly take you to this windows 10 computer of course you have to log in with this uh, user id and password because still you are uh, uh, on this uh, on that on the login page okay so you can see now in login page so I, if i know the password of this computer of course i'll be able to log in it so this is the password and okay you can see you can see this is how we connect it to the remote computer using the unattended access and this is how you enable it right so now the question is how do you share so how do you share the file how do you transfer the file okay so you can see this arrow button here uh, and the left arrow button here just click it here and you can chat with with chat with your uh, uh, your uh, your uh, support guy so you know uh, here is the chat button here you can go chat and you can see hello so the client had sent the hello to me let's go back to our application here let's see where is the chat okay okay so the client has sent me the chat you can say the hello so where do i find it you can see this arrow button on the top right you can see this arrow button here click on here click on this arrow button and you can click on the chat and uh, click on the chat here hi there you can see see that you he's getting the hi there so you can chat chat uh, over the remote session as well so this is about the chat and uh, let's me close this one so here is the chat button for that okay and uh, you know we go to the screen and you can see the capture the part of the screen so if you want to take the screenshot you can take the screenshot of as well and you have a capture full screen and then you have a recording so you can you can do the recording of the remote session as well so here you have your option so where you get it you get it in this this menu you can on the top of your recording so this is my application and he, this arrow button when you click on the arrow button here this is how you get it so under options that you have active monitors quality screen size and all but so this is the best scale for me okay and you can see they have an option for called show remote cursor so when you move the cursor here cursor here it will show you the remote cursor as right now the question is how do i transfer the file so you have to go to this if you want to send the file to your client what you have to do is you can see in that you have to go to this this chat window and inside the chat you can see this small envelope here right so envelope uh, envelope pen type of option here click here and you can see here you get an option um, to send the file so click on the new text file open it and this is that waiting for a response so it should come on show it on my computer right so this is the client computer here right hand side and left hand side which you see on this is my computer I mean, I like uh, the remote support right so click on the save so you have to save it on a desktop so let's go ahead and you can see there is no file here um i'll just click on the desktop and save minimize this one 
and here you can see this file has come on my desktop right so this is how you transfer the file and you can send it back to to the customer so here you, you can see this is the uh, envelope option pin option here click on this one attach the file and send it back to him so this is how you can do the send and uh, receive the files back and forth from the ultra viewer right so i think we have covered almost everything about this uh, team viewer and if you want to buy this to have this uh, options prevent windows from going to sleep and allow turn on computer remotely if you want these options to be enabled then you have to buy the license to buy the license you have to go to your ultra viewer site and buy it from there uh, i'm not sure how what is the cost of that so let's, let's go to the pricing and this is for one session how much they are this is for light version and i think this is the they are charging for four dollar almost and this is uh, for uh, this is the three devices per month they're asking they are charging for, for like, almost four dollar and this is for, uh, for unlimited they are charging 599 so you can use this one user up to three devices for that they are charging six dollar almost and this uh, one user five devices and this is the unlimited concurrent session and this is also remote endpoint is also unlimited so you can send the file up to 8 gb you can transfer the file on systems up to, up to 8 gb so this is for the the premium version for the professional it's uh, 4 gb and for the light it's uh, 2 gb right so you can go ahead and buy it from from them and use it right so i think we have covered uh, almost everything about this ultra viewer and if you have any questions query or any feedback related to this video please do let me know in the comment box and i will try to answer it as soon as possible so thank you very much for watching the video see you in the next one